Well, first of all, I would like to just, uh, just to reiterate of what we were talking about, right? We're talking mostly about problems that the IT industry is facing uh, when dealing with the data recovery cases. And uh, the most critical problems are, uh, is uh, inability to, uh, to diagnose a drive, whether it's uh, identify whether it's data or disk or drive level issues, right? Because all like is being uh, hidden by the operating system and you have no idea uh, what actually uh, the problem the drive has. Uh, problem number two is, uh, is lack of control basically, right? So as soon as you connect the drive uh, to the operating system, to the computer, you, you have no clue what's going on. You have no control of turning thing on or off. You don't even have a status information, what's, what's happening, uh, uh, whether the drive gives access to at least a few sectors or not. So everything is going like blind, right? And the most critical problem is, is uh, a further degradation of the drive uh, due to uh, mounting processes. Right. Again, this mounting process is when the operating system itself uh, going and read megabytes and megabytes of data, un unnecessary reads, right? And uh, also uh, no control of the drive because every single application that run on the operating system may try to access the drive. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, how we uh, can solve these problems? Um, uh, Especially for IT industry, we built a software utility which is free uh, that solves pretty much all of these problems. Okay, so problem number one: you don't know whether the drive has drive level, disk level, or data level issues. So we have a utility that boots up from a USB drive. Okay, so USB key. Uh, you just plug into, uh, that support Mac and, and PC platforms, both. So you just connect this uh, utility to the computer and computer boots from that stick and then uh, uh, gives you full control over the drive, okay? Without mounting, without operating system, uh, it, uh, it boots up uh, like a free DOS, but we don't use uh, DOS. So, so that utility uh, scan PCI bus and identify all ATA controllers, whether they are in ID mode or HCI mode, and uh, scan all the drives that are connected to computer, gives you ability to select which one you want to diagnose, and then it may scan uh, the entire drive and show you uh, what kind of problem the drive has. Okay, so we haven't released this utility yet, it's still under beta testing, but uh, those of you who are interested to, to participate in beta testing to try it out, uh, you're welcome to send uh, me an email. So you can just send email to info at deepspar.com and, uh, <clears throat> and participate in this. We, we, uh, we expect it to be released uh, within a few weeks or so. Okay, so uh, this utility is uh, called Rapid Drive Tester. Okay, so once again, it's a, it's a free DeepSpar utility provided as a bootable USB stick image. So basically, you can download that image from our website and just, uh, just upload using any image to any USB uh, stick, okay? And then uh, it uh, do all the diagnostics without mounting via direct access to ATA controller. Okay, so now what it means, it means that you can identify drive disk or data level issues right away when, uh, when the drive fails on you, okay? If you, have, if you get that uh, laptop, let's say, from your customer, what you can do, you can boot up that, that uh, laptop directly from USB stick and diagnose, okay? Without even necessity to disconnect the drive, taking it out and, and, and do, do what you want, <clears throat> okay? And another thing that is very useful uh, that solves another problem, uh, it, uh, the utility has uh, uh, so-called deactivate MB MBR function. So what it does, after executing deactivate MBR, uh, the drive uh, uh, basically become unbootable. Okay, so what it means, it means that then if you connect the drive back to the computer or you leave it, uh, that laptop is this, and uh, uh, you boot up your system, it will never mount uh, the drive, okay? So it will never mount, which means that it will not do that, uh, you know, through the degradation processes and trying to load lots of different information from the drive that are necessary and are not necessary. And in the meantime, the drive will still be as a device, listed as a device uh, in your computer, okay? 
So basically, we kind of uh, still have access to the drive for, let's say, data recovery software. Okay, so data recovery software will still be able to access the drive. However, operating system will not mount it. Okay, so that's the beauty of it. <clears throat> well, obviously, if this is a bootable laptop, uh, there is nothing you can do about it, right? You will, as soon as you deactivate MBR, you cannot, you know, run operating system. Operating system will not uh, uh, boot up. So you will need to disconnect the drive and connect it to the second drive, to any working system. But, but again, the good thing that after that, any working system will not mount the drive, okay? It will just list, it will be listed as a regular mass storage device as it would not be formatted at all, okay? Like there is no format, there is no partition, no MBR, no nothing, okay? And so your Mac will still list the device and then you can uh, run any data recovery software if you want uh, on the drive uh, and uh, kind of knowing that there will be no further harm happening to the drive. Okay, because again, mounting where it's just not talking about loss of reads, but it's also about loss of unnecessary rights, right? All these rights to, to back to the device that is basically overwriting, maybe overwriting customer data. <clears throat> okay, so how it looks like uh, is basically uh, after, after you boot up from the USB stick, you will just see uh, the list of all drives that are connected to the system. Okay, like in this case, it found, uh, it found just one drive. And then you select uh, the, the uh, index of the device you want to diagnose. Okay, and then the, again, uh, this list uh, got directly from the hardware level. Okay, so the utility is scanning PCI, PCI controllers, finding all the drives that are connected. And if the drive is not listed, uh, you have a good chance of the drive level issue. Okay, it's still not 100% because it's a standard ATA controller. It's not like it's like a proprietary ATA controller as, as we have in data recovery devices. But in most cases, if the drive has just disk or data level issues, it will be listed, okay, which is good symptom for you. Because uh, uh, if it would be, again, could be disk level issues, operating system will not be able to have to, to diagnose it, uh, to, uh, to identify it. And then as soon as you select it, there is ability to do express test and uh, uh, media test. Media test is the most, uh, most important one. So basically, uh, this looks uh, uh, like user interface, if you're, for those who are familiar, looks like a deep spot disk imager, okay? Uh, it doesn't have the capability to image the drive though, but it has most of the capabilities to, ident to see if the drive is readable or not. Okay, so uh, all these green boxes, green blocks, shows that this block of sectors was read properly. Okay, so as soon as you start media scan, it will be just going like green, 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 maybe occasional red, occasional yellow. So all this yellow and red, bad blocks. Okay, so it has some kind of disk level issues, those, those blocks. And what uh, you are looking here is whether you have many of those red blocks or not, and most importantly, how much time the drive takes to process those bad blocks. Because when you will be scanning the drive, as soon as it hits bad sector, okay, all this red or green, it will take and wait until the drive responds, like, like the operating system, right? And based on that time, you will see what is happening and how much uh, degradation, if you like, the drive has. Okay, so, so it gives you, first of all, idea whether data is accessible at all or not. And second of all, you will see what condition of the drive is. Okay, it also shows you hex data and, uh, and also the file status information. During just uh, scanning, you will see how, name, how many uh, pictures it finds, how many Microsoft Office files, and all those uh, counters. So uh, it will also give you uh, a good diagnostic in terms of whether data is still accessible or not, okay? So that's a, that's a very good uh, uh, utility that I really recommend you to use the first thing when you have uh, unstable drive, okay, or drive for data recovery. Because again, uh, for, for this particular drive, for example, I know for sure if I would connect it directly to Mac or to Windows, it will just not even mount it, okay? So drive will not be even diagnosed, will not be even identified. 
And again, you're facing that problem that you, you, you don't know. You're like a blind. You, you have no clue what's happening with the drive. <clears throat> okay. So if we have, uh, since we have this utility, you diagnose what, uh, what's wrong with the drive. And if it has insignificant disk level issues, right, you can proceed with imaging by software tools. Okay. If you see that there are plenty of bad sectors and drive process in those sectors for quite a long time, that you will uh, most likely need um, uh, data recovery hardware imager, like deep spar disk imager or some other images. And we will talk about hardware again uh, in my next presentation. <clears throat> Any questions about uh, rapid drive tester? It's clear, right? So, so it's basically just, just a USB stick. And uh, you can take any a small one, uh, create an image, and, and just have it with you all the time. Even if you don't have professional tools, when you're on site, for instance, right? Or even the first diagnosing, when, when, again, when the client uh, uh, brings you just a laptop, uh, you don't need to unscrew and get everything out. You can just, just uh, connect that USB stick and diagnose your drive. Okay, that's that. That's a really great help, not just for the IT industry, by the way, for professional data recovery industry. It's it's also helpful because you, uh, you know, sometimes you can get the quick diagnostics prior to unmounting the drive and try it out. Yeah. So if you hooked this up to a drive and it came back all green, no bad sectors, yeah. would you feel that it was then okay to run software tools on it? Oh yeah, as, as I said, uh, basically, so the question again, uh, if, if, is it safe or not? If, if you see, if we connect it and see the most of it green, green stuff. Yes, yes, it is safe, but it depends on how much uh, surface you scan, right? Because let's say if you start it and you see all the green stuff, all the green stuff is coming out, uh, you, we specifically have that, uh, see, you use spacebar key to jump over some areas. So you, uh, like in DJI, you press spacebar and it jumps jumps, jumps, and you're very fine. Okay, this is green, this is green, this is green, this is green. If everything is green, green, or in fact, if you have just very few occasional bad sectors, you can still, it is still safe to uh, proceed with software imager. Okay, so you can connect the drive, but don't forget to, um, uh, to deactivate MDR, right? Because if you plan to do yeah, it's not actually listed here, but anyway. And the re latest release uh, uh, at the bottom, there is a deactivate MBR uh, function. So after you diagnose everything, that everything is green, maybe very occasional bad sectors, you can deactivate MBR and then disconnect the drive, connect to any of your working Mac, okay? It will not be mounted, but it will list up, and then you can do image, okay, by any software imager that you have. Whatever. Again, I, I see. I, I don't really recommend any particular imager because, again, if you came back to the uh, architecture of OS, all of them have the same control over hard drive, right? They all accessing through system software. So it's really just about acquiring the image. Or if you if you can't find any bad sectors whatsoever, then it's safe even to run data, data recovery software in it without doing the image. Okay. So that, yeah, that's uh, that's safe. It's 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 completely safe. No no problem. Uh, well, considering that you deactivate MBR again, that's a critical point. Because you, if you didn't deactivate MBR, when you plug in the drive back to operating system, operating system will write right to this drive. Will overwrite some certain content. It will try to actually repair file system, and and such may overwrite some user data that will not be retrievable afterwards, okay? But what I'm saying is, after you deactivate it, it's completely safe. So operating system will never touch anything. It will just go there and we put, we, we have the trigger, and by the way, you can activate it back. So you deactivate MBR and, and, uh, and our RDT utility will know that this, this MBR is deactivated, and then you can connect it back at any time and activate it again. Okay, if you, know, if you don't identify any problems with the drive or whatever, you can activate MBR back. And then this, this drive will still be bootable, it will still be mountable. Okay. 